Growing up, I always wanted to be an astronaut, but that's not really realistic. So when I grew up, I became a cartographer. At least this way I could still explore the world while I worked on my maps. But one day when I was out working on a map, I could feel something calling out to me, and it was coming from this cave. So I grabbed some equipment and began exploring. Eventually, the cave led me to these ancient ruins. I'd never even heard about anything like these before. So I started exploring. The first thing I found was a really ancient library, but this isn't what was calling out to me. So I kept going deeper and deeper, and eventually I found it. This portal was calling me. I think I was destined to be the one to activate it, but I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. I was going to need help. So, I went back to my village to look for some help. So, what do you guys say? Want to help me explore a new dimension? Uh, not really, man. We just want to be farmers. Oh, uh, okay. So, are you in? Oh, man. You know I want to, but I gotta take care of this kid. Teach him how to be a blacksmith. I understand. Uh, oh, wait! Let's go! He just grew up! Now you can come! Uh, well, this is awkward. What? I just didn't want to go. So, what do you say? Want to explore a new dimension? Dude. I just sell books. No one in my village would help me, but I didn't give up. I started traveling across the world, going to villages I didn't even know existed, asking other people for help. But no matter where I went, all the villagers said the same thing. Nobody was willing to help me. They just wanted to keep doing their jobs. So I came up with a new plan, and that's how I got you guys, the best and the brightest I could find from any village. Uh, sir, you know we're nitwits, right? Alright, for your guys' first mission, I want you to go to my house and get my money and buy us some basic equipment. Yes, sir. I'm gonna figure out how to light this portal. Alright, portal, speak to me. Give me some kind of sign. Dude, I'm telling you, the portal spoke to me. Can I please borrow 12 obsidian? Sure, I can give you 12 obsidian. But promise me whatever you're doing, you'll be safe. Don't worry, I've got this. And when I make history, I promise I'll tell them that you helped me. Alright, how'd you guys do? Did you get the stuff? Yeah, here. Come look at what we got. Okay, nice. Some basic tools and food. This is a good start. The rest is this way. Oh, nice. Some blocks and some redstone. Perfect. Can you give me the rest of the money? The rest? We spent it all. What? That was my life savings. You know what? It's fine. I don't need the money, because after we activate this portal, we're all going to become rich and famous. I can't really explain it, but it's like the portal's telling me something. I just feel like the subsidian's going to work. All right, final piece. Here we go. Oh my god! Guys, let's go! It activated! Okay, this is perfect. Now, before we go in, we're gonna need to spend about three more weeks getting equipment and food so we're ready for anything that- Alright, I know it looks bad, but everyone stay calm. Oh, we're stuck! Die! We're stuck! Calm oh, down, calm die! down. Listen, I don't know what happened, but I think the portal collapsed. Maybe Obsidian wasn't the right way to power it. All right, if we want to survive, we have to focus. Clearly, we're in some kind of space dimension. I want you guys to explore this island and see if you can find a portal like the one we came through. Maybe we can go back. Yes, sir. All right, be safe and don't split up. Good luck. I'm going to start working on a base. What should I build first? Honestly, with all this space, having a flying machine might be really nice. All right, nice. The flying machine's finished, and I got us a campfire going. What is that noise? Sir, sir, there's a dragon. A dragon? What? He almost killed us all. We need to run. Uh, okay. Um, I guess everybody get on the flying machine. Wait, take the food. Oh, good call. It's not that much food, but we'll make it work. All right, everybody on the machine. Guys, what are you doing? Get on the machine. Listen, sir, there's not enough food for all of us. We all know it. We don't have time for this. Get on right now. No one has ever believed in us before. You were the first one. What are you guys saying? Hurry up. Thank you. Wait, what? No! Guys, why did you do that? We're gonna distract the dragon while you escape! Alright, dragon. We're here to slay you. After a few minutes, I couldn't even see the island anymore. But the nitwit sacrifice gave me a chance. I had to use it. For weeks, I was floating through space surrounded by nothing. And I was starting to run out of food. And right when I wanted to give up, there was hope. Oh my god! I can't believe it! There's land! I can't believe it! I didn't think I was going to see land ever again! I'm not saved yet though, I still have to find two things. A source of food, and a way out of this dimension. Maybe this way? What is this place? It's amazing! It's so cool! Whoa! I've never seen that mob before. It might be hostile. I'm going to have to attack first before it attacks me. Here I go! Whoa! I have never seen a villager that looks like you before! Wait, what? There's villagers even in a place like this? Do you guys live here? Yeah, here, we'll show you around. 
Whoa, what are these purple box things? Those are shulkers, and they're here to protect us. Don't worry, we told them not to attack you. Wait, this is crazy. How do you make the ship fly? The shulkers applied a layer of magic to it that makes it float. Wait, what? No way. You guys have wings? No, we don't have wings. We developed a suit that allows us to fly. We call them elytras. I don't get it. You look like a farmer, but I don't see any farms around here. What do you grow? Here, try some. This is what we eat here. It's called chorus fruit. Oh, sure. Thank you. Whoa, what the heck? How did you guys do that to me? That's sick. We didn't do anything to you. That's what happens when we eat. Your food doesn't do that? No, our food doesn't do anything like that. We just eat it. What kind of food do you eat? A bunch of stuff. Bread, apples, fish. Here, try a potato. Okay, thanks. Oh my god. That is the best thing I've ever eaten in my whole life. Do you have more of that? I don't have that many with me, but if I get back to my world, I'll bring you guys a ton of potatoes. And your fruit gave me a really good idea. All right, the machine is done. Thanks for letting me borrow the materials I needed. As long as you bring us more potatoes, it was totally worth it. If this machine gets me home like I think it will, I'll bring you as many potatoes as you want. I read about this machine a long time ago. A scientist used it to fuse a pig with a man. I built it the exact same way. Maybe if we fuse me with the chorus fruit, I can teleport myself home. Let's do it. Is it supposed to make that humming noise? The machine exploded, sending out a massive shockwave that would change this dimension forever. What happened? Guys, open the door. Let me out. Whoa, what the heck? How did that just happen? Guys, oh no. What's going on, guys? What happened to you? Who did this? Guys, say something. What's going on? Why aren't you talking to me? All right, I'm going to go get help. Dude, something's wrong with your friend. Wait, another one? What's going on here? They're all over the place. And where did all the villagers go? I know, maybe there's still one in the ship. But how do I get up there? Whoa, how did I just do that? Whatever. Guys, is anybody here? We have a big problem. What? Even up here? This is really bad. And what's going on with me, too? It's really weird. Anywhere I think about going, I just appear. <gasps> the nitwits! Oh my god! It actually worked! I can see them! Let. Oh my god, no. I'm too late. It may be too late for the nitwits, but I have to fix the end villagers. I caused this. Oh, perfect. I'm in the overworld. I can try to get some help. Guys, it's so good to see you. I need your help. I found these villagers from another... Wh where are you all going? All right, he'll definitely help me. Dude, I need your help. Son, get inside now. Wait, what? I'll handle this. Dude, what are you doing? I thought we were friends. I gotta get out of here. All right, I should be safe now. Look, there it is. I told you, it's a new mob. People are calling them Endermen. If you kill them, you get a rare item, an Ender Pro. I don't want any trouble. Look, it's cool. It has purple eyes. Back me up. I'm gonna fight it. Wait, what? Don't- No, guys, stop! What are you doing? <gasps> no, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I, I didn't know I was that strong. It was an accident. All right, I've just got to stay away from everyone and figure things out on my own. What? Uh, oh my god, the rain! It's killing me! So, I decided I would just live the rest of my life in the end dimension, away from everybody. At least that's what I thought. But after a couple years, I saw something I thought I would never see. Other people in the end. 